glacier-carved fjords and mountains, emerald rainforests, the world's largest barrier reef, wildlife found nowhere else on Earth. It's no wonder that Australia and New Zealand are adventure central for outdoor enthusiasts. But the other wonder down under is the dynamic multiculturalism that many travelers miss. Come here in a small vantage group and enjoy the advantages of unfettered access and flexibility. Discover fabled attractions, then go beyond them. Meet the famously fun-loving people where they live, work, and play. And you'll play too, being as active or as laid back as you like. At the end of your adventure, the real wonder will be why you didn't do it sooner. Here's a preview. Well, we went to the Dane Tree Rainforest and uh, we had a, a wonderful young guide and he took us through the forest and you can understand how he survives in the forest. He showed us his skills, he showed us the food that's available. He just ground up some paint on a rock with some, with some water. He put the markings on his arm. It was his family genealogy. River Rock is used to keep that heat in there. At the end, he played this didgeridoo, which was just amazing. Well, the Great Barrier Reef was, was why I wanted to come on this trip. The water was beautiful and, and, and blue-green and warm, and we saw things that we'd never seen before, beautiful blue corals, and, and it was lovely. What surprised me was the highlight was the submersible. So it's a lovely boat that goes just down below the surface of the water, and you see so much, and it's just, just really lovely. You're right next to the coral, which you're not when you're snorkeling, so very nice. It was like, you know, Disneyland for adults. It really, really beautiful. You know, we all talked about what would we say what the highlight would be, and there's so many, it's hard. The ferry across Sydney Harbor was like a dream come true. It was magical. The water was beautiful. There was a nice breeze in your face no clouds in the sky. I saw the city from that angle and had a glass of wine and life was good. Yeah, that was amazing. You just keep taking panoramic pictures because you just can't help but do it. It's yeah, it's, it's like every time a, you look across a the bay and you see it again, like you want to keep taking more pictures because it's so beautiful. You see things like the very famous bridge, um, and then of course you see the Opera House, which is, that was also one of the things that I came on this trip specifically to see. I wanted to see the Opera House in all its glory. We took a tour on the interior of the Opera House, and it was fascinating to learn about the builder, uh, to learn that I wasn't even sure what materials could be used to have that famous sail design, but ultimately uh, he figured it out. This is my sixth Vantage tour, and one of the advantages for me for Vantage is that we have small groups, and they give a single supplement so that it makes us easier to travel. Normally, you have to pay for two beds. With Vantage, you just pay a portion of what the second person would be. Our ride to Milford Sound was one of those examples of the journey being uh, almost equal to the destination. The scenery on the way is spectacular. You're right in a gorge and three quarters of the way out, just you just feel like you're going off to the edge of the world. It's just beautiful. The boat actually took us right underneath one of the waterfalls and you know, everybody got sprayed with the water, which is kind of fun. It's supposed to be for good luck. <laughs> it was the most beautiful things I've ever seen.
Our tour guide has been Warren, and he's one of the best tour guides that my husband and I um, have ever had the pleasure of experiencing. He is uniformly kind and patient and has just done whatever we needed to be comfortable with. But he also knows a lot about the history of the place, the culture of the place, and he'll always go out of his way to help you. Well, I'm very interested in the Maori culture, so I was really looking forward to it. And I have friends from New Zealand, so I knew all about the All Blacks and the Hakka. Part of our show at the uh, museum was the Hakka, which is a Maori ritual of singing and dancing and gestures, just very violent gestures, lots of foot stomping and chest slapping, and they open their eyes really wild and they go, This whole trip just seems to get better every time, every, every city we move, from Cairns to Sydney and then to Queenstown. It just it gets better all the way. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to show you around my country and New Zealand. Raise your glasses. We'll drink a toast to future travels. All right. Thank you. It's just been a great trip. It's a very, very good value for the dollar. I've traveled a lot and with a lot of different companies and this has been a fantastic experience for me. I think friendships were made on this trip that will last a long time.